Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a great day. So, some important updates with the Bitcoin MYK project. We have now broken over 12,000 wallet holders. Yes, that is correct. Uh, we now have over 12,132 accounts, wallet holders who can now transact the Bitcoin MYK token. Now, this is very important and to, uh, excuse me, understand the scope uh, of what something like this means. Um, the Bitcoin MYK token uh, runs on Steam blockchain. It is part of the same protocol, which will facilitate the SMT or smart media tokens. Now, what this basically translates to is that you're able to, at a very high speed, send um, your cryptocurrency transactions over the blockchain absolutely free there are no costs to doing this uh, it's free and it's very fast one of the fastest blockchains out there but there's more than just that uh, instead of having these very long keys these alphanumeric keys you can see a simple four digit um, four letter uh, name uh, can uh, suffice and that is your account you know there's there's not all these uh, you know vast keys you got to store and remember someplace if you can remember your name um, as your as your um, your user ID you are able to use that uh, there's also the uh, the keychain wallet the steam keychain wallet it, it works as a browser facilitated wallet where you're able to do a lot of cool things use our basic password to Enter, enter into your account. So these these are just phenomenal uh, uses and products. You know, when I picture cryptocurrency and I, I picture the efficient cryptocurrency, this is what I foresaw. And Bitcoin MYK is on the road to achieving that with now over 12,000 accounts. Now it does run on the Steam blockchain again. And what is so unique about the Bitcoin MYK project? Well, we discovered long ago that one of the best uses of uh, cryptocurrency, especially in relation to social media, is that cryptocurrency being a money within itself, right? Because you're going to have this interaction over social media, you're going to have everybody in one place, and now you can move and facilitate money back and forth. And although many cryptocurrencies out there uh, have the mechanical capability of, to doing that, they don't have the interface and the right network to do that, right? And that is why Bitcoin is the biggest network, and they are. Uh, they just do not have that. And uh, so where they're at their very best, they're, they're not able to facilitate that. Now, what makes the Bitcoin NYK uh, product so special and why it's important that we grow accounts very, very fast is that we believe, in a sense, we've created one of the most perfect monies there is. Why is that? Because the holy grail is to have a useful cryptocurrency, but at the same time, it's one that can gain in value. So due to the capability of Bitcoin MYK being able to be transacted at high speeds, free and fast, we've also created a deflationary token situation where not only do you have this very efficient, optimal level of money, now what you have in addition to that is an appreciating asset. Now, that is the holy grail of cryptocurrency, that you can have something that is actually usable, but able to gain value. And we're going to show you in a moment just how we achieve that. Um, you know, again, something like Bitcoin, which has um, this store value uh, or this digital gold uh, type of reference to it, works very well in those areas. But at the end of the day, nobody really uses Bitcoin. And uh, we believe that, in the future, that might present a huge problem for Bitcoin. We believe it might present a value to the price and what more innovation and technology coming on the scenes over the next 10, 20 years. We just don't know if Bitcoin is going to be able to keep that title in the sense that people aren't going to realize um, the what's more important to them as far as usability, as far as the con connectivity of the network. Uh, as far as the interaction of the network and all that coupled together with, with being the money. The Holy Grail cryptocurrency idea. 
We'd next like to turn your attention to Bomb Token. Now, some people might not know what this product is or this project is, but there are certain elements in this project that exploit something in cryptocurrency we have a lot of trouble with, and that is deflation. You see that many of our cryptocurrency products are actually uh, highly inflationary, and inflation is a way to basically dilute the market and it generally is going to make it very difficult for us to make money that's why people don't like a large supply of tokens because they generally liken a large supply of tokens to higher inflation but looking at bomb token i just want to turn your attention to this this project started about over a year ago i want to take you i want to show you what deflation can do so I want to take you at the very beginning of this project, Bomb Token. And I'm going to reference Bomb Token to features within Bitcoin MYK not only being uh, the best cryptocurrency money ever that ever could be, right? Running on the Steam blockchain. Now, it is true you could do the same thing with Steam. But I'm going to show you some reasons why Bitcoin MYK has a features far superior to what many cryptocurrencies can do and why it's very important. So let's turn your attention now to uh, the beginning here, bomb token, how it started. I'm trying to get way down here because I want you guys to, to see this. Okay. So it looks like it started somewhere around February. Okay. February. And uh, it looks like it was running around 33 cents, right? Very interesting. So let's move on a little bit. Let's keep going. A month goes on, a couple of months. Now, now to explain bomb token, what is happening here is basically bomb token starts at a certain amount of tokens, right? It might start at 5 million, 10 million tokens or something. It might start at 100 million tokens. Whatever it starts at, it has a certain rate that against every transaction that's done with bomb tokens is gonna burn tokens against those transactions, right? So every time you buy or sell bomb token, it's gonna burn a certain amount of that transaction to the point there's hardly any bomb token left. And I think in this example, bomb token would get down to maybe a million, a million tokens, uh, cryptocurrency. Um, and um, you know, at that point, um, whatever whoever has the most that is left is going to have the more value over the network right within that network um it is also going to make it so people can't dump more cryptocurrency on your head and then what's happening is driving the price down from the dumping so you see to understand they can't dump because all the tokens have been burned all the cryptocurrencies burned so let's keep going. Not much happening with bomb token the first few months, right? 33 cents is even taking a little bit of dip as people are trying to figure this project out. But let's keep going. Now it looks like the deflation, what we just discussed is starting to kick in, doesn't it? Look at how the rate's starting to double, right? They're already, after a few months, these people are over 100% on their investment now. There are not many cryptocurrencies that were able to achieve that in 2019. And there certainly aren't many now. And Bitcoin, uh, where it has managed to achieve that, Bitcoin struggles a great deal to be able to do these feats. Just to get to 100%. Takes them all year to, to have 100% return on Bitcoin, if you can do it at all. But let's further consider and look at bomb token here. So it starts to kind of still do this back and forth thing. But look what happens here. By the time it's run not even three months, it's about 4X now, $1.40, $1.12, $1.79. And look at this, look how crazy this is. Now you're hitting like uh, basically uh, beyond 10Xs now, getting into 20Xs and 30Xs and 40Xs, right? 40Xs. Right, 40 times your, your investment within a year. Look how high this thing's went. 13, 30. Why is this happening? How is this possible? It's based on deflation. Now, the question you should be asking, how many cryptocurrencies have the ability to do this, right? 
And there, the answer is not many, if any at all, and not do it consistently. So Baum is holding this for months, these crazy 40Xs. It didn't just hit it. It went on to do millions upon millions of volume and made a lot of people a lot of money, right? A lot of money, all based on deflation, right? Look how high this is. Remember, this is 33 cents. This is all happening this year. And a lot of people know Bomb took it because they made a great deal of money, right? Look at this. Look how crazy this is, right? Still, you're still like 10x your, your investment here, even at this period as we're getting toward the end of the year, right? I'm sorry, guys. Excuse me. Look how crazy that is from 33 cents. So if somebody bought in hill. I don't think they would have held, you know, after they hit the $13, $14 range. I think they would have cashed out a lot of money. But you can see that, uh, and I'm sure they did. A lot of people made money on this thing. I missed it. I was upset about it. But a lot of people actually got an airdrop into it, too. But you can see, even at the end of the year, right, this thing is still beyond 100%. Made all this money, still above 100%. And even now, to this day, at the very end of Bomb Token, this month, Still, uh, you're, you're looking at three, four X range. Excuse me, guys. Think about that for a moment. Think, think about why that happens and why your cryptocurrencies can't do that. Right now, bomb does finally come down uh, somewhat. People are still getting around 100 uh, uh, 100 percent return uh, from its inception. But. Thinking about why cryptocurrencies has to do it. Well, I could tell you how Bomb took was able to do it. Deflation and not inflation. The cryptocurrencies out there, they have too much inflation for miners, right? They have too much inflation, which is something Bomb token didn't seem to have, if I understand correctly. It runs on the, I believe it ran on the Ethereum blockchain. So it didn't have to pay for miners, right? So it didn't have the minor uh, inflation. Uh, you know, it's, it's done in a smart contract, so it didn't have to worry about uh, any kind of operational costs or anything like that. But the bottom line is you, you understand the importance of what it takes for a cryptocurrency to do some of the things we really need them to do. And, uh, you know, it just kind of, you know, hits my mind that as far as price is concerned and value, are we wasting our time on cryptocurrencies that don't have this model involved in them? And if you're like me and if high inflation really irks you, then you're going to look at a model like this and go, why aren't there more models like this? And maybe we should be looking at this. Now, all that said, bomb token itself uh, wasn't perfect. You know, in fact, it had many problems working against it. It was a social experiment and there was no use case other than it just deflating and licking what the psychology behind what happens in actual scarcity and I, I think it's proven to be uh, uh to be a, a a good uh present good data to us on the effectiveness of um of deflation right no use case at all but it's still you're still probably uh a hundred percent on your investment for the year right which is something no traditional uh investment can really do traditionally nowadays unless you just get lucky but I think this should make us think. Now, how does this tie into Bitcoin and YK? Well, let's talk about that. And let's be clear about this. Let's really think about this for a second. Get that noodle running. Money needs to be stable. So we just presented to you that Bitcoin and YK is fast. It's free. And if you're going to use it as a payment system, which is a lot of what we're going for, then you're going to want it to be stable right because when my money gets there i want as much money as i sent right i don't want it to be really less or more right because if it's less then i haven't been able to make my payment properly the person who received my payment they had to take a, a large amount of risk and now they've lost or i haven't had enough money to pay for the item i'm trying to get whatever the agreement was with that it doesn't work so a lot of cryptocurrencies fail in the payment department, unless they're stable coin, because they aren't stable. And, and the, uh, the, the payee, right, 
is uh, basically taking a risk and he's losing. Now, what's the downside to if it arrives there and it's a 10x, right? Well, I'll give you an example of a cryptocurrency uh, uh, enthusiast who purchased a Lamborghini when uh, crypto Bitcoin was going up, right? Purchased a Lamborghini with Bitcoin. The next day, uh, the next several days, the next several months, Bitcoin is going crazy, right? You know, it's probably doubled in value or something. Now, in his eyes, it means that he's paid twice as much for that Lamborghini now, right? He's paid twice as much because of, um, you know, now he could have just held that Bitcoin and then and bought that car because of the fast moving, what can happen in cryptocurrency, right? So a lot of downsides to it being a money. But if you could be a money that's fast and free and efficient and the money supply decreases over time, then you can have a perfect situation of an efficient, useful cryptocurrency as a money and also as an asset or store value, right? If done correct, if the model works. So our model works in relation to the transaction, similar to bomb token, but there are differences. We have social networks. We have uh, basically um, uh, music streaming services. We have a lot of social interaction. We have uh, something akin to Fiverr, uh, where you can use products like uh, Fiverr and people could uh, do tasks with this cryptocurrency, right? We uh, have simulated miners that uh, help people to understand the, the mining operations and run simulated miners uh, on our network where they're they gain our cryptocurrency, right? Um, we have a lot of great things, right? A lot of great things that add to the use case of the cryptocurrency, right? Building that network so people within your community can move value back and forth. But in addition to that, we have the most aggressive deflation rate in all the cryptocurrency. And how does it work? Every time you transact a token, that token gets burned on a one-to-one -one ratio. So if you transact a million tokens, we're going to burn a million tokens, right? And in a similar situation to bomb token, we are beginning to see a great increase in the value of to our investor in, in their cryptocurrency, right? I think just yesterday alone, we did a 5X. Uh, since from today, from yesterday to today, now these are very, at this point in time, where we're trading low liquid, highly volatile markets, that is true. But because of the deflation rate of our cryptocurrencies, it's allowing us to balance out our volume and value to investors, uh, or people holding this cryptocurrency, rather. And um, uh, it, it is uh, presenting some very interesting results as we grow our network. So so very important, guys, you, you pay attention to some of the things we're saying because we want your crypto lives to be a lot healthier than they have been for you over the last few years. Okay, we're over here on the Steam Engine Marketplace and this is where the Bitcoin MYK token trades. And if I'm not mistaken today, we have just breach the top 20 of their cryptocurrencies right um i believe there's over six or seven hundred tokens on here now um and we believe this is due in large part to our uh, deflation rate uh we weren't able to do this before now it looks like our deflation rate is starting to kick in and we're starting now to uh basically um start to trade a lot better than what we've been trading at. Uh, to, to, to help you understand um, what else cryptocurrencies are on here, uh, to help you understand what's happening with this is um, if you think of something like ERC-20 tokens, Ethereum, people who love the Steam, blockchain, Steamians, you think generally in reference to Steam as a social network. Right. One of the premier social networks and cryptocurrency that a lot of people like to use. Right. But Steam is much more than that. You know, the 
there, there's a lot of confusion that it's just a social network where people upvote each other and people who like each other upvote it. But no, it's much more than that. It is a very, to developers, there are a lot of Ethereum developers that are making the move to the Steam blockchain because you can build so easily on top of the Steam blockchain. But in addition to that, uh, what Steam has done is it's created its own token creation system similar to what you get with Tron now, Ethereum, the Waves Network, Bitcoin Cash, um, you know, and all these major cryptocurrencies that do that. And so what's happened is then uh, we've started to create our own uh, version of ERC-20 tokens on the Steam blockchain. We call them smart media tokens. Uh uh, the SCOT protocol, which supports ideas like that. Um, and um, it's very interesting. I love it because it's so much easier than those bulky, horrible wallets that we use. And I, and I think going forward into the future, people are going to want or rather use interfaces like what you get on the Steam blockchain. Because as I explained earlier in the video, you don't use those long alphanumeric keys. You use just a simple name. That's your account. You can use a simple password through their browser extension wallets like Steam Keychain. Um, and so they're, they're a great deal different from what you get from like MetaMask wallets on Ethereum and what you get for Tron wallets. And I, you just don't know how often I hear people saying, I really hate the gas and using Ethereum and using these weird wallets. When you get something like the Bitcoin NYK token, you don't have to worry about any of that. And the transactions are fast and free on a decentralized blockchain, right? Decentralized blockchain. So you can't really beat it, guys. Uh, you know, I feel it my responsibility to tell many of you all in cryptocurrency that there may be a reason why things aren't happening like you uh, won in cryptocurrency. And we've compiled the data to what actually works in cryptocurrency and what doesn't. And in compiling that data, we put together the Bitcoin MYK project. And uh, so far, it seems to be doing exactly what we predicted it would do. Using that data, using ideas like deflation, using easier wallet interfaces, right? Using things that people value and the interaction on the network and being part of that network. Uh, all these things coupled together has uh, made it so we could create the Bitcoin and YK project for you all. And when you try it, it's absolutely free to try it and start earning cryptocurrency. We know you're not going to lead this project. Many people who try the Bitcoin and YK project, I don't think they really ever leave it or try anything else after that. I think the Bitcoin and YK project for the most part just gets better. Now we're over here on the Bitcoin NYK site. Talk a little bit more about it. So Bitcoin NYK, what's in the name, right? So many times people have come to us and they have uh, told us things like, you know, we really like the concept of this project. Excuse me, guys. Uh, but why name it Bitcoin? You know, so much scamming and fraud uh, with these uh, fake Bitcoins. People trying to fool people into thinking you're Bitcoin, right? And we're going to explain into detail why it was important we use the Bitcoin name and why it doesn't mean what many people think it means. So we're going to we're going to get to that part. But as you can see, the Bitcoin NYK website, this is a very simple. We try to keep it clean and simple website, right? And why do we do that? Well, here's what a lot of people don't understand. We get a lot of people, designers, um, website front end people saying that, hey, you need to spruce this up. You need to do this. And we might do something like that. Then we get another group of the same people say, oh, well, that doesn't work. You should have did this. Now, what's happening there? You got a difference of opinions coming from professional people on many levels. And what it basically sums up to is no interface will serve everybody. No interface will be one that everybody likes, right? So, you know, people might think they got the greatest opinion about something in the world, but I can assure you that there's always somebody who likes a little more, likes a little bit less, that what you think is great, they don't think is great, right? So to cut through all of that, 
what we've done is kept trying to make this as simple, bare bone, clean as possible, right? So everybody could just kind of uh, peruse the site very clean and easily and, uh, um, you know, basically not have to worry about those things, right? Uh, in the beginning, when we started the project Bitcoin and YK, we actually had uh, what, what was more akin to a Facebook clone site, right? Now, you might think that an uh, almost trillion dollar company with enough resources would be able to hire the best developers, to, uh, uh, I'm sorry, website designers to create, uh, to make Facebook this super phenomenal for an end. And some people are all right with Facebook. Some people like it. Some people don't. Some people just don't like Facebook. But it is still a half a trillion dollar company, and I'm sure they could afford to do whatever necessary to make it look good. Um, we had something that was similar to that, almost similar to like almost you almost might call it a clone. Right. People had problem with that site. Some people didn't have problem with that site. The bottom line is it just shows that not every front end will serve everybody. Right. And it's not a question of money. It's not a question of resources, not a question of any of those things, but that's just how it works. Right. But anyway, we just tried to keep everything simple because another thing that happens quite a great deal in cryptocurrency is that people uh, sometimes just overcomplicate things for uh, people who are normal, everyday people. If you want adoption, you want something very simple, right? But if here on the site, you can see a variety of things, right? We're in our menu button now. And let's just go over some of the things you can do here. You know, we were making a comparison to bomb token. We were saying it didn't have a use case, right? Um, and uh, we've done many, several videos on the Bitcoin NYK project. We break down every feature we have on it in a video series. So this video won't have time to do that and do that justice. We hope that you will explore that on your own. Subscribe to the channel. Take time to learn this information. It's valuable information, we believe. So we don't keep making many major mistakes in cryptocurrency and, and hoping for a different outcome. And we don't get it because we're moving against the data. But if you look here. We have game simulated mine. This is a cool thing where you could play a variety of games on the site and you earn our tokens. We have the claim UBI function. That stands for universal basic income. That basically means every month people just come on the site. They could claim so many tokens. Uh, we believe that to be a mass adoption vehicle for cryptocurrency. So we do that, right? Of course, our white paper, we have our wallets you can connect to. We have an affiliate program, a referral program. A lot of people don't... Um, you know, I understand major corporations and successful, the most successful biz businesses in the world have referral programs. A lot of cryptocurrency projects don't. So we do have a referral program. We refer people in the network. You earn cryptocurrency. The Bitcoin uh, fork tokens claim. Now, this is something that we're going to get into in, in, uh, a little bit here about why we call it the Bitcoin. But just to understand this, a real quick, easy idea is that if you own Bitcoin, you get Bitcoin MYK tokens free. So basically, a Bitcoin holder doesn't have to move or touch his Bitcoin. He's now able to move value fast and free transactions, uh, something he can't do on Bitcoin, but he can almost use Bitcoin MYK as a proxy. But we're going to get a little bit more in detail about that as we go on. Bitcoin cash game, Bitcoin hex referral. These are just, you know, uh, ways that the site uh, promote certain things and much of that value goes back into the token, right? Like affiliate programs, whatever you want to call it. Crypto tab browser. Uh, you could, Now, this is really cool. You could purchase simulated miners, right? This is basically the gamification of learning how to mine is, and you earn our tokens and a variety of things. And it's, it's really cool to do this. You don't burn any electricity. It's all virtual and simulated. So you don't burn any actual physical electricity. And it's just really cool stuff. We have a staking feature where you can stake. We have something akin to Fiverr, right? Where people can uh, uh, basically post um, tasks to be performed and you can uh, basically offer your skills and you earn the Bitcoin MYK token doing it, right? Like a type of Fiverr, if you will. Uh, we have a market prediction game, right? It's like uh, you call the right price of a, of, a, of a cryptocurrency and you earn tokens. We have a, a music stream service. 
uh, which is pretty cool. Some of the greatest uh, music artists on Steam, they get paid when you uh, play their play their music, right? And you earn for listening. Really cool. We have a trading cards game, right? Pretty cool. You become the character in this game world, and you basically are able to sell your own cards uh, um, through the site and uh, uh, kind of gamify your experience over the project in the cryptocurrency space based on what you do. And it kind of, uh, uh, you know, makes you this immortal character, if you will. Quite interesting. If you're kind of into that Magic the Gathering card game stuff, there you go. And then we get down here to the social network. Now, this is um, this is very important. Let's take you over there. We, we want to talk about that a little bit. So what we've done is we've basically linked up our social media here to the to the Steam blockchain because what this does is this allows us to have now decentralized uh, social media online, right? Um, so through the Bitcoin MYK group, it's something very unique that happens here because it's part of the Steam blockchain. You, in a dual sense, you earn uh, basically um, uh, Steam, the blockchain token, but you own it earn the Bitcoin NYK token. Now, the Bitcoin NYK token is, is very democratized um, to kind of really have y'all get the grasp of this, guys. What has happened with social media and cryptocurrency has been something revolutionary. We've kind of combined these things and it is the perfect union of social media where you can move value, right? Your posts, your social capital, your connections. And it's it's a money, it's a it's a value, a monetary value to that. And we're able to send that over from one place to another. Now, what's been some of the throwbacks to this? You know, as everything that you start off with it, things don't always work out like you want, or as you go, you get better and you discover things that don't work. But what started to happen on Steam blockchain was that they had something called state weighted voting where People who got more and more of the steam could get more and more of the vote power, right? And they can influence the network. So, of course, what happens then? The richer people just come in, they buy the whole network, and then they either abuse people or they don't really connect with the, with the community as a whole. Then it becomes a money thing. People get upset. And it's just a um, problem here. So through our connection to the Steam blockchain, what we found a way to do is use all the strengths in the Steam blockchain. Use all the strengths and uh, bas basically discard many of the weaknesses. And how do we do that? Well, through democratic voting, right? Steam, the Steam chain works as normal on the Bitcoin MYK uh, group function on the site. But what we do is our cryptocurrency that, remember, works like a similar, what would be similar to an ERC-20 token. It goes in a dual sense, awards everybody the same value per post, right? So just think about that for a moment. You've cut out all of the confusion and disruption that can hold many ideas and chains back. So in doing that, you've democratized it. Um, and it's really cool because now everybody gets a chance to uh, basically... Um, you know, be valued uh, the same uh, to a great degree. And, and it makes people want to participate more. And it, it, it gives your community a lot more cohesion. So it's very experimental for us. Democratic voting. You just participate. You earn the same amount as great token. And your contributions and participation and your merit and the true idea of a meritocracy is what's on the, uh, at the top here. Right. So no amount of state weighted voting is going to cause you to be able to manipulate the system or push through it. Your merit alone is going to be able to do that. And if people prefer the Steam blockchain, this is this is the thing about this, guys, about our group as well. If you belong to other groups, you can you can basically post through our group, tag your other groups, and you will still be uh, compensated in those other groups for the token. Right. So you can you can still do everything you normally do if you are a person who are a steam purist and you just rather keep to the state weighted voting. Remember you can keep to the state weighted voting, still post on our site, still earn our tokens, right? So it's win-win for everybody. And so that's what we're going for here. And these are all these great use cases you could do with the steam uh, blockchain with use of Bitcoin MYK as an overlay on it, making these things uh, uh, so much more usable 
uh, and giving you all, you guys, so much more value uh, and uh, input in the community than ever before. You know, we really believe not to toot our own horns here, but we really believe if you look at this and you really pay attention to this product, we've created what may just be one of the most perfect cryptocurrencies in existence today. You know, even with humility, I would say that this is a top 10 cryptocurrency easily. Uh, and I would challenge anybody to, to hold any other cryptocurrency up against us uh, and uh, see how it fares. Let's move on to the name itself. I, I want to, we want to explain that and kind of get you guys on the, on the right page with that. All right. So what's in the name? So I want to talk about the Bitcoin and YK project, the, why the name and, and, and try to help y'all understand that. So what we're looking at is a diagram of the lightning network and the lightning network put simply is kind of this. I like to think of it as a kind of prepayment system where you kind of send your Bitcoin uh, and it's kind of locked uh, in this contract, if you will. And um, the way it works is then whenever you want to purchase something uh, through these channels on this network, you're able to do it because the Bitcoin is already there. Right. So it can move at any speed at that point in time because it's it was kind of pre-sent there. Right now. If you're like me, you don't like to prepay for anything because <laughs> you don't know what you're going to want and how much it's going to cost and, and things like that. But that's the, the the very simplified definition of the Lightning Network. Kind of the cryptocurrency is already there. And if um, the network that you wish to pay is already part of your network, because that's that's also important too. they have to be part of your network. They have to be in your directory, in your chain or you, you can't, you know, obviously pay those people, but that's the that's the basic idea about it. Now, many problems have come up about Lightning Network, you know, ideas like, uh, well, you know, if it's kind of this custodial thing and it's still going to one place and being held on one central hub, so to speak, you know, did, did, does that person become then a money transfer service or something to that degree? What are the legal ramifications of that? So it goes on and on. It gets deep. You can do your own research on the Bitcoin Lightning Network. But in short, we think that the Bitcoin NYK project facilitates many of those issues. Um, uh, you know, in in, in a in an optional way, right? In a in an optional way, right? Uh, in what I believe to be a better way. But in any event. The confusion with Bitcoin MYK is that, oh, it's some type of Bitcoin product or it's Bitcoin. So let's explain that. And when people want us to change the name, why it's so important we keep it for references. So if you look at something like the Lightning Network, right, it's important to help y'all understand this, that the Lightning Network and the Bitcoin Lightning Network is not Bitcoin, right? The Lightning Network could be anything. It just puts Bitcoin in the front because it's telling you that you can move Bitcoin. But guess what else? You can also move Ethereum and Litecoin. It could be the Ethereum Network, the Ethereum Lightning. It could be Litecoin Lightning. It could be Dogecoin Lightning, right? So putting the Bitcoin in the front of the title doesn't really matter, right? You you understand that saying Bitcoin Lightning is not the same thing as saying it's Bitcoin. This is how you should think of Bitcoin and YK, right? We put Bitcoin in the first in, in the front of it because it's important that people understand that if you're a Bitcoin holder, you not only get our cryptocurrency free, but you can safely keep your Bitcoin in this wallet without moving it or chance of it being stolen or, or anything like that. But through our network, you can now move that represented value of Bitcoin fast and free. So in that sense, this is not like Bitcoin Cash or Bitcoin Satoshi Vision where anybody's claiming that it's the better Bitcoin, right? Or that we can be a better Bitcoin. That is a fundamental misunderstanding of what the Bitcoin NYK project is. What it is, is it's more or less an overlay system and an option to move that represented value of your Bitcoin over another chain. Why? Because number one, it's fast and it's free, 
and it has a deflation rate much greater than Bitcoin, right? Four or five times greater. So then in that case, it only makes sense, right? To reference it to Bitcoin. Now, um, using Bitcoin in the name, because Bitcoin is so well branded, some people think using Bitcoin is bad. I don't think so. I think it's good for projects. I think it's it, it leads to brand recognition. You know, it is, I can't tell you how many times cryptocurrencies have failed to brand well, right? They have all these variety of names, but nobody remembers them. Nobody knows them, right? So it is helpful to carry that Bitcoin name and many Bitcoin or many products with Bitcoin in front have done well. And so that is an accidental uh, addition to what we're doing here. One we're glad to have, but it is important to understand that this is not nothing about trying to confuse people to be Bitcoin. This should be looked at in a similar sense to how you look at Bitcoin lightning, right? If you think Bitcoin shouldn't be in the front of lightning, then uh, Bitcoin shouldn't be in the front of Bitcoin and YK. Um, very interesting stuff. Uh, real quick, just want to say we just got off the social network portion. You can post there, earn. We have contests every week for that where you can earn a, a win 1,000 Bitcoin NYK tokens. Just posting there gets you a guaranteed 50 Bitcoin NYK tokens. Just commenting there gets you a guaranteed 25 Bitcoin NYK tokens, right? So no other platform does anything like this. When you couple that with the deflation that is getting less and less of these tokens at the most aggressive rate we've ever seen in cryptocurrency, that means that this is going to be a very scarce cryptocurrency for anybody who holds it. So good to get in there now where you can get a whole Bitcoin NYK. Remember, you could do this absolutely free. It has a universal basic income project. We believe in the value of the network, not the price. We count our value on people joining and using it over the price. But due to the deflation, the deflation basically, we believe, corrects the price, right, in a good way. Um, so don't forget about to join our social network, the, uh, to, uh, get on the site, register, do all the great things over there. This is similar to bomb token with a use case. As I get out of here, I just want to wish you all a great beginning of the new year, right? It is new year's Eve. So, uh, be careful out there, be safe and have fun. But I also want to say this in conclusion, guys, cryptocurrency projects haven't done what you wanted them to do for the most part. 80, 90% of the value has been gone out of these things. And whenever something's wrong, this is what I learned. Whenever something's wrong or not working right, it's because you're doing something wrong. And right now, guys, you all are doing something wrong, right? And it's going to not be good if you keep repeating these things. You got to get out of projects that have too much inflation. You got to get out of projects that don't have viable use cases that don't build networks and if you do that and if you follow the data like we're doing now starting to see results we believe that your cryptocurrency lives are going to change right and we're not just saying that we looked at this data and we would like to talk to anybody about it leave a comment and i believe that you all will be able to clearly see what we found that there are things going on in cryptocurrency that is not helping us that we need to stop. And that is high inflation rates. That is lack of mass adoption because there is no demand and who you're reaching and who your who's your target target audience because you're not going after the markets that are where there's great demand. Right. Um, and, uh, you know, cryptocurrency interfaces just aren't efficient. Right. The wallets are too complicated. Right. The Bitcoin NYK product project, all that is quite simple. It can mass adopt people a lot easier, we believe, than many other cryptocurrencies. And we think as you watch this project going into 2020, you're going to see exactly what we mean. So it's time for you to join the day. It's time for you to be part of this project. And getting in now is going to be the best time you can get in. You don't need to spend a dime. We're not asking for one red cent. Your participation is is a value to us just like your dollars but that's all i want to say in this video if you like content like this don't forget to like and subscribe and register over at bitcoinnyk.com and until next time
Take care.